Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got a brand that we haven't reviewed in a little while, New Level Irons. New Level are, I would say, the, um, the most premium of the direct-to-consumer brands. Okay. If you don't include PXG in the direct-to-consumer brands, which I they're transitioning into that. I don't think we should can include yeah. them in that. I, I don't <laughs> think they're, yeah. I, no. I think this, this is kind of, this is a little bit more of the sub 70. Um, yes. So this is kind know, of the, Haywood, yeah, the top of that of, line. I think so. Yeah. I really do think so. But I mean, in terms of, of, a, of a blade and a cavity design that look clean, you know, you want to save a few bucks. I don't know what more you could really look for if I'm being honest. And, and it was, yeah. it was actually um, our very own Ryan Brath who posted a picture from the address position and mm. said, you know, take a guess, you know, whose iron is this? And I remember thinking, whatever it is, it's nice. Yes. Minimal offset and, and, and all that sort of stuff. And then when he revealed that it was the PF1, I'm like, wow, we, we've got to test those. You're right. The address position is probably about as good as I've seen in quite some time. Definitely. And especially the offset. It doesn't seem to exist. I would, I mean, I would put that up with the, the best profiles I've ever seen looking down at a golf club. I totally agree. I think the main thing to mention, uh, and probably the first thing people want to know is 875. Yeah, four to pitching wedge. Yeah, so four to wedge. We did a little bit of online shopping because we just, I mean, and that's US dollars, obviously. Mm -hmm. Kind of thinking, okay, a Ford set of irons from a top company. What what are you paying these days with yeah. like a good shaft in there? Fourteen to fifteen hundred bucks US is kind of the standard right now. That's the base, and then yeah. you know that's before. Oh, it can you go have, from there. Yeah, you can you can yeah. build up from there. So you're right. I mean, some companies are a little more, some are a touch less. You know, yeah. I think Strixon are probably a little. Strixon a little was bit less. about twelve, so a good a good savings. But in any case, you're looking at six hundred bucks less yeah. than kind of your average um, top end OEM set. Really good value for for that. I mean, what what you're getting in terms of the look, feel, hopefully what we see in the performance. Yeah, you're getting some great value. The only thing that needs mentioning, I think, when it comes to price is you can't be super selective shaft-wise if you mm. want to keep the cost down. Right. So dynamic goals and true temper elevate, no extra upcharge. If you do want to get into project decks, which you're testing, mm -hmm. and some nip-on stuff, you're going to get kind of closer to a thousand or just over. Yeah. But the reality is, I mean, that's going to happen with most clubs. If it's, so it's not the stock shaft of an iron set from a different company, yeah. you'll pay an upcharge there too. So absolutely, still absolutely. a really good value. I mean, you're saving, I think, you know, a mm -hmm. solid 30, 40 percent. Yeah, yeah. There is a demo program where you can you can buy one demo iron at a reduced cost mm. to, to try it. Maybe, you know, some idea. people like to do that and uh, and give it a try and compare it to their own and you know lay out a little bit of money and then if they really like it add to the set definitely you know, fill them out so um, i think that's another good little option for people who are maybe on the fence so what we're going to do we've got pitching wedge of both we've got seven iron of both we've got the four iron of both we're going to put you in three on course situations mm -hmm. and just test them out do some numbers you can tell us how they're feeling how they are to play with and yep. we'll go from there love it probably a perfect location for your precision cnc milled pitching wedge is a precision green the postage stamp it requires major level precision. It is how wide at the widest? It's like narrow. Yeah, 30 Very feet, narrow. 30 feet wide oh, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, precision. Oh, it's precision. Oh yeah. Oh, hello. CNC milling. Welcome to the stand. Welcome. Yeah, that was nice. Nothing but good things to say about that. That was nice. Sounded good. Sounded really good. Mm. Fading just right of the pin. Lovely. But if we look at the two goodies, spin was kind Launch. of almost the same. Yeah, yeah. You just launched the second one a bit higher. I said which... that to you that I felt like th it was launching the yeah. The, uh, when it was hitting at the, and, and that to me is maybe a little higher in spin than I would expect. I, I think you've got to, You've got to kind of appreciate the CG location mm. element, the vertical element of, you know, that a blade will spin higher and launch lower. It's really interesting because people, yeah, you wouldn't quite get yeah. that necessarily, but you've got a little bit more launch and a little bit less spin yeah. with a cavity model. So very similar in shape to the cavity one mm -hmm. you just hit. So it spun 500 RPMs more and launched almost two degrees lower. Couple degrees lower. Okay. That looks 
really good. It's this is this is way more um, coming out of this than I thought there would be. Yeah, that's so. Now you've gone up twenty six point seven degree launch. Yeah. And eight thousand spins. So I'm, I want to look at those four shots together. You could you could maybe explain some of the spin with the shape, but the launch wouldn't go up on a draw versus a fade. That's yeah. really cool. You're right. I mean, the, the third shot that had the high spin was the most of the right, the most open face. Yeah. I, I said I felt a little low in the head, so you probably get a little you know, tilt and gear from that. But These are the interesting ones. So blade 24, blade 24 yep. here, and then cavity 26, yeah. cavity 26. That's really, like, I, yeah, I would it? not have expected that. Really not much in the ball speed. It's not your losing no. ball speed with the miss hit and the blade. No. Really wasn't much to kind of... Um, you know, worry about there at all. So if you've got a little bit of speed and you're not looking for extra ball speed, that could be something to, to look at for some players. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I think if you keep an eye, you might be picking between these two irons for launch conditions mm -hmm. more than we thought. 100%. Okay, so we've gone forward a hole. Mm -hmm. Ninth hole at Royal Troon. Nice little par four. You've hit a nice drive. You've got 173. Mm -hmm. It looks uphill, but it's actually flat. This is just a mound in the fairway. And should be a good chance for you to hit a nice little fade into the screen with a seven iron. It's really nice. Towering seven iron. Good strike there. Quite good, yeah. It's a very blade like seven iron flight, isn't it? Yeah. 18 launch, upper 6,000 yeah. spin. You're good ball speed though. Well, the even best even better strikes, eh? yeah yeah that sounded great get close oh yeah oh well, that oh. was the better one very consistent though mm -hmm. so 18 again in almost the same amount of spin I feel like we repeat ourselves when we do tests with blades as to how much consistency you get in launch and spin when you do hit a good you know yeah. a good little period of shots and that's the reward for it obviously the miss hits yeah you're not exactly going to get forgiven yeah but when you hit it well you can expect it's crazy how close that was to the shot before it's mm -hmm. almost identical yeah it's a great sound there yeah it was that was probably the best feeling one to be honest yeah it sounded mashed but really like controls the distance though mm -hmm. so you did get a little bit more launch a little bit out yeah. of the cavity i mean wouldn't say by much no similar spin basically the same Really catch the left edge, but it was good. Yeah, really good strike there. Ah. A miserable bounce, but I'm curious how far that Link's flew. Links bounce. It's great though. Ignore the total because it's all yes, basic. You it's, carried it's it. That carry again exactly is exactly the same. Launch angle a little bit higher this time. Higher, Spin the yeah. same, but this is cool. So I'm just going to pull up the the table. And that of the shot's four. definitely worth leaving because it was as good as a struck in. Yeah, anyway. it's well. I think it's just cool because here's your first two or your blade shots. Yeah. Your second two are your cavity shots. Yep. So the Higher cavities, a little bit more launch. A little bit more ball speed, a little bit more launch. Yep, and more, so more height out yeah. of it, more descending yeah. land angle, and not really less spin in this case, which yeah. is interesting. Yeah, yeah. The pitching wedge, it did seem noticeable that mm -hmm. you got a little bit more spin out of the, um, the blade, but yeah. maybe the, the center of gravity gets a little bit closer in the seven, who knows, but this is pretty cool. 170, 172, 171, 171. That's what's important is your That's carry the most, yardages. the most important, isn't it? Really cool. No surprises. No. Make it predictable. That's awesome. So now we are at Kings Barnes, ninth hole. You've just hit a 310 yard drive on a par five. Yep. Left yourself in perfect four iron territory. Yeah, I mean, always plays longer this second shot. I always remember this one's a, this is a club extra up the hill. And we tested before just to make sure, yeah. but it's a, it's a ways uphill. So yep. we're kind of estimating that normalized, you'd hit this four iron closer to a 220 shot. Mm -hmm but we'll set the pin at 208 there and we'll see how that works. Love it. Ooh, that made a great sound there. Get up there, ball. Oh yes, eagle putt here. Eagle putt there, Matty Matty. Tell you what, that's got some spin on it. Mm-hmm, yeah, 4,300. Wow, 4,300 RPMs of spin on a forehand. Mm -hmm. That's really, and it's not the most, um, Weak foreign in the world, anyway, is it? 23. 23. Yeah, I play mine at 22. Okay, so I mean, it's still mm -hmm. fairly modern. That's a lot of spin. A 
That's, that's fucking that's good. Get a little bounce. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cheeky bounce. That sounded really well hit. Yeah, that's... So, I mean, you... Other than the launch, your spin is nearly identical to the shot you hit previously. Mm -hmm. So you had a little less ball speed, but you got a little more launch. More launchy. Almost the same amount of spin. Mm -hmm. Very similar looking flight with the height. Yeah. Carried it almost the same yardage. I mean, that's really cool. That sounded great. Yeah, it was good. Oh, yes. Closest yet. Tap in Eagles. Interesting. Very similar, isn't it? Very similar. Very similar. That sounded great. Yeah, that's that little bit extra we were talking about. Yeah, a little bit more pop on that, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, same speed. Right around 100 miles an hour, just had a little bit more to that one. Yeah, the efficiency went up, yeah? Yeah. Interesting. You could kind of hear it off the face and Definitely. Yeah, so with these, I think when you got to the four iron, I mean, maybe a little bit less spin with uh -huh. the, the cavity. Launches were kind of similar, but I think it's probably tougher to have, you know, identical swings with the four iron, but most of the patterns are still there. The, the highest spinning club has been the blade the whole time. Yeah. And you've yeah. usually gotten a little bit more pop and sometimes a bit more launch out of the four iron and of the, uh, of the cavity. Yeah. So it's cool, cool kind of subtle differences, I think. It points to having a set where you would go pitching wedge to maybe seven iron in the blade and use the cavity in the longer irons. Definitely, get you a little would. bit more distance. Lots, I'm sure Eric's building a lot of combo sets yeah, with these. I would think so. You were talking about the the actual measurements in millimeters of the offset. Yep. Seven iron has half a millimeter of offset in the blade and one millimeter on the uh, the cavity back. It's nothing. It's crazy. Like throughout the whole set, the most offset that you get to in the whole. Uh, the foreiron of the cavity is 2.4 millimeters of offset. Yeah, which, which is less than most mid irons from any major company. Exactly. So yeah, when, yeah, as you said, in the short irons, when you've got half a degree of offset in the mm -hmm. blades, you're, you, it just looked like nothing to me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Really cool set. Impressive. Um, great feel. Great looks. Great a great price. I would say if there was a direct to consumer set of irons that you would play, this would probably be it. Yeah, no question. Best yeah. I've seen. Yeah. Yeah, best I've seen. Yeah, good stuff. So I would say, I think you mentioned before, but the demo program is a good idea. Yeah. You can get that one iron, you pay for it, obviously. Yeah. But if you can't come to a shop like this, and I know there's a handful that do carry new level, mm -hmm. that's probably your best bet. Get one, get a seven iron or something, give them a try, because I think for the price, you're not doing much better. For the quality of these, the CNC milled mm -hmm. and everything, it's a really nice set of irons. Really, really impressive. Yeah. Awesome. So. Okay. Well, guys, let us know if you've tried these new level irons. I know they're fairly new, but let us know what your feedback is and let us know if you're enjoying these direct to consumer tests. I think we've liked kind of getting a few new brands in the door. It really is good. To, you know, expands our kind of knowledge of other brands out there. Obviously, there's the clubs that we work with every single day, the ones that we get to know inside and out. And then yeah. there's ones that we get through the door and we get to learn something. You know, totally. something like that wedge, you know, where, you know, obviously we understand the physics of why that happens, but to see it play out in, in real life the way that that did there, I just thought that, that was that was really, really cool and yep. and something, a differentiating factor that a consumer can go, okay, I would pick that because of that. Yeah, exactly. I could pick it because of that. I think that's what these tests are all about. Absolutely, okay. Well, I think you guys can tell we were really impressed with those. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.